Hi, I'm Linda. So glad you could join me today. Today, since I've been seeing a lot of sunsets lately and all these beautiful fall colors, I decided again to put some orange and yellow and reds to my canvas. And this one here I'm going to try. It's another photograph. It's a uh, kind of a fiery sunset. It gets darker down toward the center and then you see the really dark outline of the trees against the sun on the bottom. It should be really fun to paint. Pretty easy too. About five basic colors. So I hope you can join me today. So let's get started. Here are the paints I used. Acrylic Cad Yellow, clear contact paper made by Duck, Oil paints were liquid white, titanium white, black, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, cad yellow, cad yellow deep hue, and red. So now I've taken taking a plain canvas, nothing on it. I've got my contact paper there, clear. And what I've done is taken one of my tubes of paint and I took the cap and I circled a perfect little circle. Cut it out and took the paper off. And I'm going to set just off center just a little bit and down about a quarter of the way. And just push the air out, make sure it sticks. And so now I'm taking some CAD yellow acrylic and I'm going to just gently go around that circle brushing kind of outward so I make sure I get a nice clean circle and brush it so it's smooth and then I'm going to let it dry totally so when it's dry I'm going to peel that circle off and I've got a nice pretty uh, white sun. So now I'm going to take some cad yellow in oil after that's totally dry and just br brush that all around the cad yellow. Now I'm going to take some cad yellow in the deep hue. It's kind of an orangey yellow. It works really nice. I like it. You just work that around the edge there of the regular cad yellow. Just go around the edge and blend it the best you can. Go all the way around, a little darker on the corners. Smoothing it out, brushing it out. A little more of that cad yellow with deep hue. Just keep uh, blending that in. Don't go over your sun though. Just gently get go up to it and just blend it in. And just work your way over to the, the corners. A lot of brush, brushing and blending here. And a clean, dry brush and, and brush across. Now I'm taking a straight alizarin crimson and I'm going around that edge and just bring it in, not all the way, but just so it meets up with that yellow. Just work it. Work it in that canvas. If you have uh, too much paint, take a shop rag and just go uh, lay it over the top and you can take it, take off the excess oil. I'm just going down about halfway canvas for right now. I'm just doing circular motions, blending it in, pushing it in that, uh, the canvas. Making the corners a little bit darker. Do a little alizarin crimson there. And 
just blend it in the best you can. I find the round brush, one inch round, works really, really nice. And just brushing it across. Doing a little more there at the bottom. Just blending in the best you can, circular motions. A lot of blending in this one. And I'm adding a little more uh, Lizard and Crimson on the left there, just making that in, uh, end a little darker and probably on the other side to match. Trying to fade that into uh, the yellows. I'm making a line, a uh, horizon line there with some crimson. Adding a little more. So that horizon looks a little dark back there. So now I, I'm taking a oil, cad yellow, and I'm putting in the sun down at the bottom. Just creating a reflection that's going to be in the water of that, that sunrise. Taking a little bit of the uh, cad yellow deep hue and going around that sun because I want to keep that pretty bright there. Kind of etching it out there. Now I'm adding some crimson. Being careful not to uh, go in that yellow. And I'll bring a little yellow down to the bottom. That'll be the water. And a little bit of uh, cad yellow deep hue on the on the sides. Trying to match the top. A little bit of crimson down there. Just blending it in. More crimson on the other side to match. Just blending it in. I'm taking my finger with a little uh, titanium white. Just going right in the center there. Little circles. Blending it. Probably do that a couple of times because I want that real nice and bright. Take, taking a shop rag there, if you've got a little too much paint, just lay it over there and touch it and pull it off. Then you can go back over that, put some more white on or yellow. I take, I'm taking my fan brush and just creating some little water lines underneath. I'm 
back again working on that brightness of the sun. Adding a little white to my yellow. Now I made up uh, a batch of some darker color and that is phthalo blue with uh, a little bit of uh, lizard and crimson with black because I want that really dark. And I'm just taking my uh, fan brush and creating some background trees way in the back. Just using the corner of my brush, just creating some trees way back in the distance. Lifting up I'm taking my uh, round brush and just tapping that, kind of bringing it down a little bit. Tapping, giving it a softer look. Putting a little more of that dark color down, just tapping it. If you, you're, if you notice, I'm using the same uh, brush that has a little bit of that orange color on it still. And I'm just tapping the bottom of that. I'm taking some dark color and I'm going to go leaving a little bit of that uh, lightness right under those back trees. Just leave a little there. It kind of looks like a little foggy area. So I'm just tapping that in. Now I'm taking uh, the same same dark color, adding a little black, more black to it, because I want it really, really dark. And I'm just tapping in some trees, another another layer there, darker trees. But I don't want to cover up that far away uh, foggy area. I want to leave that alone. But I'm going to bring up some really dark color kind of to meet it. Just another layer there. You'll see it'll be... Uh, It'll be really pretty. It doesn't look like much right now, but it will. And eventually I'll be pulling that dark black all the way down right up to the to the bottom orange and yellow. I don't want to cover a lot of that up, but, but I want to bring that black all the way down. Because I'll be adding some trees down there. Now I'm I'm pushing a, a few little trees up into the orange area, the horizon. Just a little, just the tops of the trees. So now, <laughs> you can see I flipped my canvas upside down. Looks kind of weird. You see I, I put the black up against that, uh, the bottom part up against the orange. I'm taking uh, straight black and I'm going to tap in some trees and they're going to be the shadow uh, reflection in the water of the trees on top in which I will turn it back the other way and put some trees up there to match. But it's better to go <laughs> for me to go upside down because then I can actually see what I'm doing and like I said, I'll, I'll bring some of those back in after I flip my canvas around. Taking a, a little liner brush, and I'm going to 
bring in a few uh, trees up there, just a few. A few in the center there where the brightest area is. Just lifting up a little. And I did dip my, my brush in just a little thinner and made my black uh, not, not soupy, but, you know, just ink-like. And you'll find that the paint goes on much better. Just making some background little trees back there. Now I'll go back into my round brush and I'll gently tap, just very lightly tap in some trees. You, you don't want to cover that area totally up. You want to let some of that light, sunlight come through. So you got to be kind of careful and just tap real light. working my way to the end there. Got to figure out which angle it's going because it will be the reflection in the water. You want them to you want them to match with the ones above. So they're going to be kind of at an angle. I'm putting a few more trees top to trees right in that area there. There, I flip my canvas around, match the trees on top to the ones on, on the bottom, and I put a little bit of a water line with my palette knife in the back there with white, just a very little touches, and now I'm going to put some water lines in that dark color gently in the front, just a few. And again, I've got a, almost a finished painting here. I really enjoy doing this one. And I think you will too. So if you want to see more of these, click the like, but like button, follow me, share if you want, that'd be great. Until then, the next time, happy painting, and God bless.